Hey rookies, what's up? Happy Wednesday. Hope everybody enjoyed the Super Bowl and had a nice Valentine's uh, day. Um, today I'm going to be bringing you a double dip, double dip video. As you can see, I have something in my hand here. I got these cigars in the other day, um, Allegiance Cigars. Um, smells fantastic, by the way. Very grassy. Um, I was going to do a... Uh, just a straight up uh, whiskey review of something else, um, but I switched um, my thought process for this. Uh, being a rookie to bourbon, I have not really reached out to a lot of um, other brands than what I'm used to along the Wild Turkey, Foster, Old Forsters, um, just starting to get into New Riff. Um, but Heaven Hill, my first Heaven Hill product. I'm um, hearing a lot about larceny and all this other stuff. But rather than bring you a review of this, because there's, I'm sure there's a million of them out there, um, I figured I'll, I would do a pairing. And the reason why this came to mind was because Fred Minnick put out um, on his in, on Instagram post over the weekend, because he was doing a bunch of um, cigar events around the Super Bowl, um, that he did a blind tasting with his... I believe with his audience members, or at least that's what I understood it to be, where it was a blind of the McKenna with uh, the the Pappy Van Winkle and a um, Michter's. And apparently the Henry McKenna um, got 50% of the vote in the blinds. So I was like, shoot, I really want to try it. So the power of video, folks, the power of video, it really does work. And uh, I, I big shout out to Fred Minnick um, and for the inspiration and uh, all the good things that he's doing. So uh, tasting notes on the uh, Henry McKenna. You got a warm golden amber color. All right. What you do? Very nice color. And aroma of vanilla. Now, obviously, I'm reading this, so it's got, uh, going to influence my palate. But uh, vanilla, caramel, oak, and a light herbaceous note. Now, I don't know what they mean by herbaceous other than herbs, right? And there is a little something on the end of this that I guess I could consider to be herbaceous um, almost like a cinnamon spearmint or, or a spearminty cinnamon thing there it is Ooh. it's almost like a um, it's weird it's almost like a uh, like a sour note Definitely a sweet and sour uh, aroma to that. Um, taste. Smooth oak, sharp spices, honey, and sweetness. The finish they say is long, sweet, and spicy. So cheers. Whoa. I wasn't expecting this. This is totally... Totally different than what I was expecting. I don't know what I was expecting, to be honest with you. Based on that impression, tasting impression and aroma that I just read off to you, I was expecting something different. Definitely agree with that finish. Long, sweet, and spicy. You really got... For me... I gotta slosh these bourbons around in the front of my palate to really get a a, a good feel for what I'm tasting. Um, um, it's weird because I just got the reason why I pause is because I just got like a uh, like a sour tart, like a sweet tart. You ever have like a sweet tart candy and? Weird, oddly enough, like I watch, uh, do you guys watch um, SLB drinks? It's Kurt and Trenton, his son, and Trenton usually always puts out that he gets 
and certain bourbons that he tastes that he gets a uh, a sweet tart. It's almost like now I understand what he's talking about when he puts that out there. Um, I got like a real, and that was part of I, maybe what I was getting in the aroma too, because that aroma kind of matches the taste that I just got. It's it's this is very very different than anything that I've experienced so far, rookies. Um, maybe some of you more experienced guys out there can put something in comments if you even watch this video at all, because I don't really get a lot of watchers. I think I think my motorcycle obviously has a lot more interest and personality than I do, because I put one video out of it running with the music on, and I got about 400 views. Whereas, you know, putting these videos out, I get nothing. So, um, but boy, oh boy, any that it's almost like I'm getting a, like a like a cherry, like a strong cherry now that's come, but it's like a sweet and sour cherry. Wow, that's a lot of fun. That's a good one. Now, I don't know. I can see why people that would do blinds, like myself, who's a rookie and doesn't have any experience with a lot of bourbons, why you would vote for that over the Pappy or over uh, the Michters. It's a very unique... It's a very unique flavor profile here. Very unique. And it's wonderful. But that cherry, I don't know where that's coming from. That that little bit of cherry that you're getting. Now, they're not claiming cherry in any of these. Obviously, I read this to you. They're not claiming cherry. They're saying a light herbaceous note. Now, I don't... Again, I don't know what that herbaceous note is. Maybe that's part of this... Like a, a secret to whatever they got going on here with the barrels and how they how they do their barrels. Um, but I don't want to keep waxing poetically about this, but this, this was really, really good. So I'm going to pair this on a double dip with this cigar. And this cigar is from uh, Allegiance Confident. It's called the Confident, the Allegiance Confident. I don't... Everybody's got to name something nowadays, right? E.P. Carrillo. Uh, it's an Ecuadorian Sumatra wrapper, which I happen to like a lot, over a Nicaraguan binder and filler. All right, this was created in partnership with Oliva Cigars, rolled in their factory in Nicaragua. This is a medium to full body, loaded with uh, spice. You'll get a uh, dry nutty note and a hit of coffee in the finish. This is a Toro size 6x52. So, and it goes for approximately 13 I don't know, $13. Uh, on this site, it's 13 bucks. By you, it could be more. By me, I got this online. I would imagine that this would be 18 to $20 in the cigar shop by me. So with that, guys, I am going to, I'm going to tell you, the foot smells, the foot on this smells fantastic. Obviously, this, is, this side's closed, so you're not getting the aroma of the tobacco from the inside. That foot is really adding a nice spice and tingle to the, to the sinuses. There's a sweet, there is definitely, definitely a hint of a coffee note on, on that wrapper. Very good. And even, I know it seems odd, but to put the tongue on it, you feel that spice, you feel that tingle right on your tongue. So let's see how these two pair. Uh, it may not pair that well at all, but on the foot, I'm getting... A little bit of, I'm getting a cedar, a nutmeg, a spice. I get, I get a little hint of the coffee, not as much on the, not as much on the tongue. 
but it smells fantastic. So I'm going to put on a jacket, change up, and I'm going to head outside and see how these two pair together. Thanks, guys. All right, rookies. So we've we've gotten into the cigar a little bit. We're outside, so I'm getting through the foot, and right away, a um, bunch of flavor changes in here that are quite quite delightful. Um, the cigar started with a uh, very woody, went from like that that cedar profile I was talking about to like a burnt almond. Uh, like a sweet burnt almond with a little bit of spice. The cigar is filling up my sinuses. It's traveling up through the nasal passages. Um, it's got a really great aroma, somewhat like a burnt chocolate. A um, lot going on. And um, so it, it's already starting to change the flavor profile where the, the, uh, the burnt almond and the sweetness and that little bit of a spice, that pepperiness that blends so well together. A little bit of a chocolate note, um, which which could attribute a little a coffee, depending upon your palate. Um, it's now transitioned to a cedar, like a cedar. It's flattened out and it's left the back of my throat dry, which I really almost at that point wanted to sip on this uh, Henry McKenna. But uh, I don't feel like I'll be doing the cigar any justice. So let me get into this a little more. And um, I'll, let, I'll, I'll obviously I'll be back. But so far, so good. Look at that ash. That's a great ash. Cheers. Yeah, that's pretty much as I expected. Um, this I'm smoking this cigar for the first time. This is the very first cigar I've had. This is the very first glass of Henry McKenna I've ever had. And they're both pairing very well together. Um, all those notes that I just described are blending beautifully together right now. That is a wonderful compliment to the finish on this cigar. These actually pair very, very well. I would expect or suspect that this uh, Henry McKenna is probably a very good uh, uh, bottle for a lot of cigars out there. It's very difficult to pair um, a cigar with a whiskey. Easier with a rum, just because of the the way that, um, obviously rum is, is a, 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 can be made from brown sugars or honeys or things of that note. Like a Ronza Cap is usually always pretty decent to pair with something. But when you have a complex cigar, you don't want to ruin your cigar either. So it's very difficult to get a cigar like this and to pair it with a decent bourbon or a whiskey. This is absolutely a wonderful pairing and um, a pleasant, pleasant surprise. I highly recommend this. All right, guys, I'm down to the final third, and it's there's not much else to say other than it's been a wonderful cigar in terms of the flavor changes. Um, I'm going to take my time with this as it gets near the end. I don't want it to burn too hot and get too, uh, too much of a burnt flavor. But between the flavor changes of the, uh, the almond notes, the nuts, the sweetness, the little bit of cedar, the way this, the the light pepper hits the nose it there's so many changes from the foot to the end it's wonderful and then when you combine that with to finish uh the sip of the cigar with a sip of this henry mckenna 
it, the McKenna just kind of finishes the whole thing where it just fills the spices, uh, the, the sinuses, excuse me, and the overall savoriness of the combination. It's, it's a wonderful pairing. Let me know what you think. If you decide to try it, um, let me know in the comments. Give me a like, give me a subscribe, and we'll see you next time on the Bourbon Rookie, guys. Thanks.